Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue with science class 3 the human body part 8. So let's get started. Children have you ever thought how do your lungs remember to breathe while sleeping? They do not forget to breathe while sleeping. Right? And where do dreams come from? How do you know your mother is baking in the kitchen your favorite cookies? How do you think? How do you write? How do you dance? How our sense organs work? How we see? How we listen? How we smell? How we touch? We all do all these things because of our nervous system. So today we are going to understand about nervous system. Nervous system. Nervous system comprises the brain, spinal cord and nerves which are present in our whole body. Nervous system is a network of organs and nerves that sends signals throughout the body. The nervous system controls everything you do including breathing, walking, thinking, laughing, feeling, even digesting your food. So, nervous system controls everything we do. Let us understand parts of nervous system one by one. The brain. Brain is the boss of our body. It controls and manages all the things, all the parts of our body. So without brain, we can't do anything. It is protected by skull. It allows a person to sense the outside world, to see, to listen, to touch, to taste. To smell. The parts and functions of the brain. Now let us understand parts and functions of the brain. The brain is the most complicated organ of our body. It has three major parts. Cerebrum, cerebellum and medulla which is also called brain stem. So now let us understand each part one by one. The biggest part you see is the cerebrum. This is cerebellum and this is medulla or brain stem. Let's understand each part one by one. Cerebrum, it is the biggest part of our brain. It is the thinking part of our brain because of cerebrum we can think. It controls the voluntary muscle, our actions. It is because of the cerebrum we sense the outside world. We used to see the world. We hear, we smell, we touch, we taste. Cerebellum Cerebellum is a quite smaller part. The cerebellum is at the back of the brain, below the cerebrum. It is a lot smaller than cerebrum, but it is very important part of the brain. It controls balance. It controls the balance of your body. Because of the cerebellum, you can stand upright. You can keep your balance and you can move around. Let's see brain stem. It connects the rest of the brain to the spinal cord which runs down to your neck and back. The brain stem is in charge of all the functions your body needs to stay alive like breathing air, digesting food and circulating blood. It controls your involuntary muscles. So voluntary muscles are controlled by cerebrum and involuntary muscles are controlled by brain stem. Now let us see the other organs of the nervous system. The spinal cord. Spinal cord is a long bundle of nerves and cells 
that extend from the lower portion of the brain to the lower back. It carries signals between the brain and the rest of the body. The nerves. Brain sends messages or signal to the other parts of the body through nerves. So, nerves are like a bunch of wires and cables that send signals to and from the brain. So, nerves are like electric wires which carries current. The brain uses nerves to communicate with everything from your heart to your toes. So, nerves is the responsible part in your body which communicate throughout your body. Now, let us see. Now, suppose you have touched a very hot object like you have touched a candle. Now, your body will send signal to the brain. Your sensory nerves is taking signal to the brain. Now, from the brain... Via motor nerves, signal will be sent throughout your body that you have touched a hot object and what action you have to take. So this is how our brain communicate with whole body. Now let us see how we can take care of our brain. Brain is very important part in our body. It controls everything we do. So eat healthy foods. They contain vitamins and minerals and that are important for nervous system. Get a lot of play time. Do exercise. Suppose you are studying something and you are stuck somewhere. At that time you go outside, you play it and you do exercise and then again you come back, you will definitely solve that problem. Wear a helmet when you ride your bike or play other sports that require head protection. Use your brain by doing challenging activities such as puzzles, reading, playing music, making art or anything else that give your brain a workout. So this is actually brain exercise. So students, did you like the class? If you liked the class, Please comment your feedback. Stay tuned for more such videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.